Captain Meganta. Kevin, thanks to my good company, a machinery, machinery simulator. And we're gonna get right into a replay. We're gonna start a new game right here. And see what we could do. So, um, I did a little trial, kind of, you could say. And I found that the logistic people, the ones that carry things to everywhere, I don't exactly like. They, um, they kind of just waste a bunch of money. Just the, I, I, I'll, I'll just show you what I'm talking about in a little bit. Get quickly all this stuff. Perfect. And now we are going to get into construction of some timber tables. Oh, but first we need a blueprint actually. So create new blueprints. We got a calculator and a virtual pet. Now, virtual pets sell for more, if I'm correct. We're gonna create one of every single one, I think. This is my favorite one for dino ones, I think. Mm, so, the price is 740, so we get 290 from it, which is decent. But if we go to a calculator, it's 220. And we can unlock some of these, so let's get a cast, cast player. Even though we don't have to, because I'm pretty sure that this is the most expensive thing, we're gonna make some of the other things, just to see, just in case. So this one's my favorite. Uh, so it's sound and battery, so this is sound. It's got a beeper. There we go, and then a battery. All we need is a single cell. 240 compared to our virtual pet, which is 290. Captain is 220. It's kind of just fun just to make designs, even though we already know that we don't need like half of them. So, yeah. Hate products. This one is the best. So, display again. So 239 per unit, 318 to... So actually this thing's the best. This, um... This, uh, player. So we're gonna make that. So we put this here and this over here. And then, um, we need one of these single cell batteries, which this will be. So I found out that the beepers are actually quite expensive. Because to make a beeper, you need, um, where is it? There it is. You need these, um, wait, is this actually one of the, th oh, those are coils. Is that what it says it needs? I think that's what it says, coils. So actually, this isn't very expensive. I was thinking of this one. This one's the one that's really expensive. So we just need coils. This one will be coils. Put you there and you there. And this one, so if you make a beeper, you just need coils and plastic. So this one will be beeper. Well, we need two beepers actually, so. Right, we need two, yeah. But I'm pretty sure this makes five and we need two for one beeper, okay? We need two. So one more tinker table should set it up so that we have um, it all. And these all should be set up the right way. Okay, now we just hire people. Again, we're not gonna get these logistic guys because they are. Wait, why is that thing called the dog zone? But, um, the logistics guys just waste a bunch of money when these guys can be moving them on. Um, so this is enough to make one of them. Sorry, my eye is really bothering me right now. 
um, so this is enough to make one of them. These cost a day and a half. And to make each of these, so, the thing that'll take the longest is these beepers. And they take that plus this. So they'll take a day point eight, which is just enough to make one of these. So um yeah, let's just see how it goes for a little bit and see if everyone gets what they want. Are those two beepers done? No 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 no. no. You don't put that there. The beepers don't go there. Okay, um, you are the one that's the troublemaker. There we go. Now you're all fixed. Okay, so we need one more beeper and that's it. Right? Because you already have everything you need. So let's give him, um, we need three tables, actually. This, um, so that's... So you'll be the coil. And you'll be a beaker. Maybe another beaker. Is that enough to satisfy them both? So we gotta make sure this is running at peak efficiency because if it's not, it'll show us pretty much. So if you're missing anything, so you're missing a beeper and an electronic part. So the beepers are on the way. We have four of them, so that's enough. So we'll put, so since we need actually two more things, let's get a plastic part and a single cell battery. There we go. So that is enough to run two of them, if I think that's right. It's two of those. And then four of these, and then just two of these, because we just take two, so. So look, I think. But there's always room for more tables. So let's get to more of these. And since that's actually perfectly there, we can put one in front of the door. Perfect. Okay, what we'll do is uh, we'll count how many we have, and then we'll um, see what they're missing. Oh, and can't forget to do this. Okay, um, there we go. So we have enough for two, and we have so we're just gonna make enough for three. I can't put one there. So enough for three, that would be one plastic case. And then one single cell battery. And then two beepers. Which should take... So we'll be able to make one beeper completely fine. And the other one will have to be made with an extra coil. So this will be the coils. And the extra tinker table will be the beeper. So we like to make it as cramped as possible in here. So everything is running the way we want it to. So one more beeper table. That's officially enough to make three. Let's see, 
Yes, we have enough for making three. Seems like everyone's always missing... Wait, there's only one guy missing things. No, there's two, actually. So, then, so yeah, we need to get to work. So, uh, plastic... Single cell battery, this is gonna be this one. This one is going to be a beaver. We should have enough from the coil since we have four left, I believe. No, we have three, right? Because this is five for each, so that's fifteen, and we have one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven beepers. There's planning to be eight, so that's sixteen. We're one away, so we need one more coil. Although they might be able to make coils fast enough. But who knows? This fit here? No, it won't. Okay, um, so they almost are able to make coils fast enough. Just add a beeper here and see what happens. Hope for the best. Seems like everything is running the way it's supposed to be, though, so that's good. How is our finances? Okay, this week we earned six dollars, but the last few weeks we've been spending a lot of money. But that's to be expected. So currently our profit is down by 6,000. Seems like they're always missing beepers. Almost always. We have enough to make four, and we have four tables here, so we need one more. But it doesn't seem like anyone's missing anything. Give one of these people's finishes, and then, um, I don't know why I called them peoples either, but one, if one of the, if one of them finish, um, and, the, okay, they don't have parts, so we need two more things, so they don't have a single cell battery or a beaver. Okay, Coils doing. Coils are doing good, so we should have enough to make a beeper. Supplies are up, everything's going good. We should have enough for what we're planning to do, so we are going up with coils still. We have 10 right now, and we need one more beeper, so we'll make one tinker table and see what happens. Because we can always make more. Oh jeez, I can't place this here. I could place them in the middle of the aisle. But I, we, we might need more things later. Oh, why can't I put this here? Okay. But I might need more things later. So I'll put this here. Put beaver. So how is our, um, things going? So if it's, if it's running correctly, everything should be at a decent number. So everything seems to be working. They should all be decently low, and everything should be working. It's a good number. We might need one more coil table, because our production of coils is going down. Although here comes a coil right now. There's actually one right so coil production is actually up right now. I mean, there is a lot of people taking them. And as long as one of them can get over here in time per thing, which it's not. So we need one more. We need one more. Okay, someone give... Okay, 
One more tinker table. That's it. One more tinker table for coils. There we go. He's to the rescue. I don't know his name, but he's coming. This guy. Um, Bart Copper. Do your stuff. And we could put one more thing. I mean, the beepers are in here. Huge um, numbers, and everything else seems to be running perfectly. So you might be able to put one more handling table down. Let's see how this goes. Okay, how is our um, holy moly? It's off the it's off the charts. We're, we made three thousand dollars this week. We did lose. So we're actually gaining money right now. I mean, our finances is still going, it has still been a little down from since we started. But you can see as it right about there, it starts to pick up. And why hasn't it been on fast forward? And these things are literally running out of space, we have so much. We might literally have to put just one of those tables things so people can still go. Holy moly, why is there, why are we producing so many? And so quickly. Look, look at that, the shelves are gonna be full everywhere. But it is good news, we are making a bunch of money. The cart's gonna be here in another minute. The production is almost as good as it can be. So since so many people are doing that, um, I'm gonna give you an output over here. So that some of you can um, keep like placing stuff. Since that thing is like always full. Gosh. I'm pretty sure I already did here, but just making sure. So it's four per one on this one. So four per two days, pretty much. Or three days. So we get four per that many, and we have how many slots? 15. And we're still getting all the way up. There we go. So these three we've done. So there's three per one. So if they somehow get pool, I'm going to be really surprised. And our coil production is so high right now. We could probably like sell coils. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to sell some, but, oh, okay, there's a, um, we're going to sell about 50% per time. So that'd be 20. We still have 70. That's, that's a good number. I have an 80. 90% 90 of it would be good. How about 95 though? I gotta do my maths here. 95% of 40. Don't know how much that is. But we'll do it anyways. We'll just see if these people immediately stop working on something. Okay, should we buy a different building and start working again? But I kinda want a building just to be research and that's it. Well, I might need a little more of these things. So I'm gonna look for buildings that have delivery rooms. Not that it really matters too much. But I'm going to do it just so that, um, 
we can uh, eventually get one that is able to just research things. This one. This one will be perfect for researching things, so I'm gonna buy this area. Although this one's pretty good too. No, we'll use this one. Okay, research. Although maybe we should do like a small little path from things. So that might be a little. Okay, we need an analysis desk in the back. So we'll kind of separate them, I think. Let's just be here. So let's quickly get some of the cases in queue. So that as soon as we get someone working, it'll start doing its thing. And you will get you some plastic cases, do not worry. Um, but I think we're gonna end this video right here. So if you liked it, make sure to like button and also subscribe. In the next video, we are going to be transporting some of these things to over here to be researched. Which obviously I gotta transport items uh plastic in out. So, see you next video. Bye-bye.